All right, we're going to do an example today with heat engines. Um, once you take a moment to try this one on your own, pause the video, come back when you're ready. So the way I like to model the engine is just to say we have our kind of hot reservoir here, uh, QH. And in this case, it gives you the temperature. This is going to be 1000 degrees Kelvin. And then we have our cool temperature over here. I'll call that QC. And this one in this problem is 400 degrees Kelvin. And then the key idea is here's our heat engine. And we're going to have, we're going to use the heat going from hot to cold. And along the way, we're going to get some usable work out of it. So this is the work out that we're trying to get. And this is always work done by the system. Um, I know mathematically, um, when we did PV diagrams, that'd be a negative. But we're just going to go ahead and um, you know make it positive, take the absolute value for these. So let's go ahead and do this. So the first thing is it's a Carnot engine, and it's just asking a, a, about the maximum possible efficiency. So remember, the efficiency, the maximum possible efficiency, and we often write that as EC. This is the difference between the high temperature region, the low temperature region, subtracted by the high temperature region. Um, and yeah, we'll just go ahead and take a look at the difference here. So we went from 1,000 to 400, and we'll just go ahead and divide by 1,000. Notice that's going to give us a 60%. So again, what this is, is telling us, this is the max possible efficiency that this engine could could have. All right. Um, notice the only way you could get 100% is if your low temperature region was at the um, zero degrees, if this was uh, absolute zero, right? And so we know that's impossible, so you would never be able to get that. All right, let's go ahead and try letter B. So letter B is saying uh, maximum amount of work. So if we are operating at 60% efficiency, how much work could we get? So remember, the kind of the definition of efficiency is output versus input. So this would be the work that we're putting out. The heat that we're putting in would just be our high temperature region. So in this case, if we're getting 60%, we'll put this in decimal form, 60% efficiency, we want to see how much work we get out. Well, if we put 5,000 joules into that system, okay, then we're going to get, what's that, 3,000 joules of work. Okay, so kind of conceptually what we're showing here is, uh, all right, we started with 5,000 joules up here, and then that turned into 3,000 joules of work, right? And so that's, you know, 3 over 5 is going to be 60%. That's how what our efficiency is in this case. So notice when we take a look at letter C here, letter C is then saying, well, how much is going into that cold reservoir? Well, take a look here. I mean, you don't even really have to do uh, complex math here. You started with 5,000. You ended with 3,000. That means that there must, to conserve energy, you must have had 2,000 going into this exhaust. We call it exhaust usually or cold temperature reservoir. So, I mean, the math here is just a simple 5,000 minus 3,000. And again, it's something you could just simply do in your head. So you're going to get 2,000 joules of exhaust. All right, so this would be a perfect situation running at your ideal efficiency. Well, let's say you actually get 4,000 joules. So in other words, you have this 5,000 joules up here in your high reservoir and you're getting ending up with actually 4,000 joules down here in the cold reservoir and they're saying well what's the actual efficiency well notice in this case your work would then be only 1,000 joules so if you're now looking at your efficiency in this case work over heat inputted you would get well looks like 20 percent 1,000 over 5,000 is going to give us 0.2 or 20 percent. So even though ideal under perfect conditions we could run this engine at 60 percent efficiency in a real life scenario it's always going to be less than that maximum possible efficiency. In this case we get 20 percent. 